Hi, this is Hal Aronson from We Share Solar. In this video, you will learn how to take readings on the SunSaver charge controller and to use a digital multimeter and a clamp amp meter to gather data on the performance of the solar suitcase. We're going to go through a few situations in this video, but for a fuller set of cases and situations, refer to the PowerPoint Interpreting the SunSaver Charge Controller. Let me show you where the information on the charge controller is. First, we have the charging status light. This light is lit when there's voltage coming from the solar panel, and this only happens when the solar panel is exposed to sunlight. You'll see it flash occasionally. That's just the charge controller looking to see what's going on. Next is the battery status lights. Green indicates the battery is 50% full or fuller. Yellow is about 50% or less full. And red means the battery is getting very depleted. If it's flashing red, it's about to go into low voltage disconnect, which means it turns off loads. And if it's solid red, that means it's gone into low voltage disconnect. If the green battery status light is flashing, it means the solar suitcase has gone into pulse width modulation, which means it's only letting some of the energy or power coming from the solar panel go to the battery. This protects the battery from being overcharged. This is the digital multimeter. We will use this to measure the voltage of the battery and the solar panel. We can get the voltages by putting the probes of the multimeter on the terminals on the charge controller. Over here on the left, these two terminals correspond to the solar panel, the yellow and the white. Next, we have the terminals that correspond to the battery, the red and the white. And finally, the blue and white terminals will correspond um, to the load values. Since we're indoors, we're going to be using paper values on the multimeter um, to indicate the voltages that you should be reading because we want it to match with our power points. To measure voltage with the digital multimeter, first turn it to 20 volts DC. That's the setting right here. Make sure the red lead is plugged into the voltage port on the meter. Then what you're going to do is take the two probes and put the red on the solar positive and the black on the solar negative. Then you're going to be able to get your solar voltage. In this case, the solar voltage reading is 13.1 volts. If you want to measure the battery voltage, move the probes over and put the red lead on the positive battery wire terminal and the black lead on the negative battery wire terminal. And in this case, you will also get 13.1 volts. This indicates that there is a complete circuit connection between the solar panel and the battery. Now I will show you how to use the clamp amp meter in order to measure the solar amps. First, turn the meter on by setting it to 20 amps. Select DC amps by pushing the select button. Then zero the meter by pushing the zero button. The clamp meter needs to have its clamp going around one of the wires. We're gonna go around the solar wire by pulling out some extra yellow wire and then putting the clamp around the wire. This meter is measuring 0.47 amps coming into the solar suitcase. This makes sense because we have a 10 watt solar panel and we have about half an amp of solar current. Now that we have data, we can start to answer some of the questions. First, is the battery charging? Well, the charging light is on, so that means yes. Also, we saw a solar current of 0.47 amps. So by having both the charging light on and seeing a flow of current, we know that there's energy going from the solar panel to the battery, so yes. Is the battery full? No, because we have a solid green light that's not flashing, which means the battery is still accepting a charge. You also saw that the current read 0.47 amps. Is the system in pulse width modulation? No, because of the solid green light and the fact that the voltage of the solar and the battery is the same, which means it's a solid connection between the solar and the battery. Is it sunny? Yes, because the charging light is on, which means there must be sun hitting the solar panel. Is the system functioning as it should? 
Yes, because these indicators are all consistent with each other. The voltage readings, the amperage readings, the charging light being on, and the battery status light being green. Is this a good time to power or charge loads? It's a good time, but not the best time. All the current is going into the battery. It's better to wait until the system has extra power to charge loads. Now let's look at a situation in which the solar suitcase is in pulse width modulation. So first we're going to take a reading of the solar voltage. We put our red probe on the solar yellow wire and our black on the white wire and we get a reading of 18.1 solar volts. Next, we're going to take a reading of the battery voltage. And when we do that, we get a reading of 14.1 volts. Now we're going to measure the solar amps or solar current. So we put our clamp amp meter on the solar positive wire and we're getting a reading of 0.2 amps. That's less than the reading we got earlier. So let's figure out what we've learned by gathering all this data. Is the battery charging? Yes, we see the green battery status light is flashing. We see the charging light is on and there's a difference in voltage readings between the solar and the battery. So we know there's a difference in voltages, which means that the circuit is not fully connected, but rather is pulsing. Is the battery full? No, not quite yet. There are still 0.2 amps of current flowing into the battery. Is the system in pulse width modulation? Yes, we know that because of the flashing green light and because there's a difference in voltage between the battery and the solar panel. Is it sunny? Yes, because the solar charging light is on and because there's current going from the solar panel into the battery. Is the system functioning as it should? Absolutely. All these different points of data are consistent with each other. Is this a good time to power or charge loads? Yes, it's a great time because there is extra power. Pulse width modulation indicates there is surplus power from the solar panel that could be used to charge the load. We're now going to jump to situation number four on the PowerPoint. In this case, it is no longer sunny outside, so I want to show you what it would look like in terms of gathering data. So let's first measure the solar volts. Again, we go to the charge controller and go to the solar terminals. And you can see that when we do this, we're getting um, zero volts from the solar terminal. This makes sense because the charge controller has disconnected the solar from the system. Next, we're going to measure the battery voltage. We put the red probe on the battery positive and the black probe on the battery negative, and we're getting a reading of 12.5 volts. Next, let's measure the solar amps coming in. So we clamp onto the solar positive wire and we're getting zero amps. So what's going on with our solar suitcase? Well, let's take a look at our questions. Is the battery charging? Well, looking at the battery status lights, we see that the yellow light is lit. That's not a very good sign. The battery volts are at 12.5, and looking at the charging indicator, it is not lit. And solar volts are at zero. So it's pretty clear that the battery is not charging. Is the battery full? Well, looking at the battery status lights, we see that the yellow light is on, so it's less than 50% full. Is the system in pulse width modulation? Clearly not. Is it sunny? Well, all indications are that it is not daytime because the charging light is off, we have zero solar volts, and there's no solar current going into the battery. Now, this could also be caused by a malfunction in the system, such as a disconnection between the solar suitcase and the solar panel. That could also cause all of these indications to occur as well but it probably means that it is nighttime. If that's the case, the system is functioning as it should. Is this a good time to power or charge loads? It is not a good time to charge loads because you're running off the battery and the battery is already 50% discharged. So you'd wanna conserve energy for the most important loads, which include light. 
Now, of course, if you need to charge a cell phone because you need to communicate with somebody, that's a rather small load and you could probably do that. Mm -hmm.